What's up people, Rafi here, back with another video. So yesterday a new version of MS Afterburner released and in this new version, the long awaited feature is here and that is DirectX 12 support. So I thought why not make a video and inform the people who doesn't know yet because even I didn't even know about this. In one of my Bell for One video, someone commented about this. So thank you so much for letting me know without your comment, I would have never known. And yeah, that's why I just wanted to quickly show you guys another DirectX 11 versus DirectX 12 comparison. Although I did another one, I mean, although I did another video on it. And the reason why I did it again is because to inform you guys about MS Afterburner and the same guy also commented this that if I put the game in SSD then the game would run better in DirectX 12 and guess what he's right so I moved my game to my SSD and now as you can see the game is running a lot better than my other video although I'm not getting a high FPS in DirectX 12 but you will notice that in some places I'm getting high FPS that being said I will see you guys on the next one peace